so it's wonderful to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So I want to talk a little bit about my work in fair trade and how I see the, the movement in the field developing going forward and also put some background to, uh, to where I think we are under this broad heading of fair trade futures. So um, let's remind ourselves that you know, fair trade is, is an extraordinary thing. It combines um, you know, two what might be seen as kind of intuitively sort of different um, elements, a sort of action element focused very much on sales and increasing uh, the economic um, performance of, uh, of poor producer goods with a sort of trade justice and advocacy um, element to change the world, to bring about social justice and so on, and which I suppose is the, is the thread that goes through to, um, to the sort of faith-based roots of a good deal of fair trade coming out of a sense of justice and a sense of uh, human rights, I guess. Um, and so it's in, in many ways a kind of in, very innovative tool for development. It's not uh, a typical sort of handouts model based on a you know, conventional model of charity. It really is about using the market to, um, to drive uh, development for poor producers. And people are talking about it a lot more recently in terms of being a new supply chain model. So thinking in terms of how we, um, how we create value between production and consumption and how we can maybe spread that around more fairly. Um, through all the players that sit in the supply chain that we have done in the past. So there's quite a lot of talk about that as well. So um, in terms of definitions, well, the, the standard definition, I'm not entirely sure if this is one you use here, but it's the one that is used more broadly across the fair trade movement that, that I encounter elsewhere, is this long-winded um, long definition here that took a long time to put together, actually. There was a big set of arguments between the key players about what could be in and what shouldn't be in, and, the definition. Um, but but the, the point of this picture is to say um, if we look at these different coloured groupings of words and we pull them out, we get sort of three basic um, points to fair trade that are emphasised in this definition. And you'll see them in the, in the table there. So there's a strong focus on process, so how you know, the fair trade model is more about you know, participation and partnership and dialogue and transparency. So more respectful, I suppose, more conscious of, uh, of the weaker parties in the supply chain, typically always the producers, right? Um, and then there's a whole economic focus about the development agenda, about bringing